about 30, 30 or so degrees out right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to pretty much remove and install a new radiator in an eighth gen Honda Civic Si 06 to 2011. So let's get it done. So you can see I took my intake out, my battery is out because I'm charging it right now because it's been really cold. It's been kind of giving me issues, but I do have to replace, if you guys are going to replace your upper radiator hose, which I'm going to be doing my upper and my lower as well, you're going to want to remove your intake and I just took the battery out for more space too. So, so for this job, you're mainly going to be needing a ratchet an extension with a 10 millimeter for all your bulkhead cover bolts right here. You're gonna need at least two gallons of type two or whatever coolant you prefer. And then I have my new radiator hoses, as you guys can see. I would definitely recommend replacing yours. And then lastly, you have your aluminum or whatever, whatever radiator you prefer. I highly recommend aluminum, guys. It's the same price. This one is the same price as an OEM Denso one. And if, if you wanna deal with this again, if you wanna deal with cracking on the corners like this all the way down through, then be my guest and get an OEM one. But if you wanna just up for like a little bit better cooling and something you don't really have to worry about, for the top seal then do aluminum so once the battery is removed we can go ahead and we got our kitty litter don't worry guys it's not dirty obviously we got our kitty litter coolant collector pan right here we're gonna be draining the coolant into that so we want to locate our radiator drain bolt so the radiator drain plug you're gonna come underneath the car it's gonna be that white little tab right there so you're gonna go ahead and disconnect that. You could jack up the car. I'm gonna eventually have to jack up the car because I need to replace the bottom hose, but you could start to get it going just like this. To speed things up a little bit, go ahead and remove your radiator cap. This stuff literally looks brand new and it's been like 40,000 miles or 30,000 miles since I changed it last so all right So while we're waiting for that to drain we're gonna go ahead and remove the bulkhead cover this whole assembly right here guys So we have all 10 millimeter bolts. There's a few on the top. You got two right there one right here And then there's actually ones right in the back we could take these two off on the top here for the coolant filler neck, 10 millimeters. We're gonna tuck the coolant neck under the bulkhead and then we should be able to lift right up. Undo this sensor right here for the fans and everything and then we can take the bulkhead off. Just unplug this out of there like that. And then there's a few more running alongside this. So in about two of these holes you have in the back, let me show you guys. So it's pretty much connected onto the metal. So you have a plastic lo uh, lock pin or pretty much or what they called. So since I don't have needle nose, I have like a, t a tire, a flat tire kit right here. Hopefully these two things work. So. I'm going to just stick them in the holes like that and press them together and hopefully release. All right, guys, so I got everything out, and this is what they look like right here. So they're kind of a pain to get out. I hate trying to do them without a tool. That one broke off a while ago, and then there's another one. All right, guys, bulkhead cover is off. You can go ahead and tuck that to the side right there. Be careful of this wire when you're moving it, it's pretty fragile. So try to move it really slow at once. Now we can go ahead and obviously put our cap back on. <laughs> we can go ahead and start removing. I'm gonna disconnect the filler neck and I'm gonna disconnect the upper radiator hose. And then I gotta jack the car up from the bottom, disconnect the lower hose. We're gonna disconnect the fan motors. You have one switch there, one sensor there, and then there's another one 
right here and I believe there is another one on the bottom that we'll get to. So I literally just use vice grips guys, you just put them right on the clamps here, squeeze as hard as you can, vice grips will lock in, then you can move it back, then twist it gently with your hand, and this one's already somewhat loose, so that'll probably end up coming off, and then this one, so we twisted that, and then that's off right there. Tucked off to the side here with the radiator cap on it, I got the upper hose off, we're going to disconnect the fans. All you do is press this tab in on the top right there, pull it, slide it downward gently. All right, so we're underneath the car, jacked up a little bit, wheels aren't off the ground, and there is a lower hose right here. So I need to remove this right here, as well as to the left of that, there's a little sensor that I need to unplug for, I think it's the coolant temp sensor or something. So I gotta do that and then release this. Just take your vice grips, grab this clamp down, move the clamp upwards. Should be able to move this with our hand. Way easier if you come up to the top Take it off the clamp first right there, that bracket, then you can get it off with your hand. So we can even get this temp sensor. We can get this sensor right here too from the top. Just wiggle it right off just like that. And there is a bracket. It's Let me bring you guys underneath here and show you the sensor. So we're underneath the car guys. So there's the sensor right there. There's that little plastic thing and there's a bracket right there that it came off of. So undo it from the bracket. Pull the radiator out. Look at how shot this thing is. Look at that. Oh my God. Hell yeah, look at all that room right there. I could literally change everything out right now. I could do the starter, I could do the AC compressor, alternator, thermostat, which I have to do. All right guys, so before I swap my fans over to the new radiator, you gotta take this, be very careful, you do not forget this sensor right here. So if you go to fill up the car, you don't have this sensor in, your car is gonna run like crap and it's just gonna leak out of this hole. So we need to disconnect this sensor right here, find out what size wrench, convert it over to the new one for the fan shrouds it's literally the easiest thing guys it's two 10 millimeter or phillips head bolts right on the top so just undo those on both sides you have two right here and then two 10 or phillips heads on the other side so remove those and then i'll show you guys how to do the coolant temperature sensor i like to do like a bolt comparison make sure these thread right in they thread right into the DNA radiator. Perfect. Look at how cheap this thing is. Like, I respect the fact that it lasted like as long as it did, but it's just so cheap. Like there's so much plastic. So another tool you're going to need guys is a 17 millimeter wrench. So we can go ahead and take the coolant sensor off right here. Should be able to just spin it out like so. Yeah, look at all that. Get this bad boy installed in the new one here, just like that. Tighten it up a little bit. Forget to take your rubber mounts off each bottom side and transfer them over 
back into pretty much the frame there. So there's one at the bottom there. And then right there as well. I'm gonna take the hoses off. I gotta replace the thermostat. I have a Honda thermostat like I showed you. And then hopefully should be good to go. 